Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're bringing out the A-10 Warhog. So, officially it's the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2, but people just call it the Warhog. And it's designed by Volk, who is another builder on Foxshot. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. We have the iconic uh, Gatling Auto Cannon right here in the front. You know, it makes the brrrr sound. And usually it's used for uh, close air ground support. So this is what it looks like when it's flying. And I really like uh, the shape that he came up with. It really looks like the real A-10 Warhawk just flying around. Maybe we'll just have to take away the wheels when it's flying though. But that's what it looks like. And you can see there's a pockets version down there. So anyways, let's get started on this build. So first thing we're going to do, we're place a black wall down and that's going to be our front wheel then above it we'll place a birch fence up and one behind it then we're going to take stone add one on the top and three in front of it so it's like four blocks now and then we're going to add uh, 17 blocks to the back of this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and once we do that, in the back of this, we need to add um, stone brick slabs, three of them, one, two, three, like that. And then on the very top, we're going to add this section that goes across. And that's going to be um, four blocks on each side, I think. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to extend to the other side, one, two, three, four. So it's nine all together. And then we're going to make it three blocks uh, long like that. And I think it's called like the rear stabilizer. So next we're going to add uh, these things, stone brick slabs underneath to make it a bit thicker. And then we're going to add in the actual <laughs> what do you call it? The stabilizer, I think. So to make that, we added stone first, so three blocks wide on the edges like this. The one down here, poking out. And then uh, this section is going to be two blocks taller, so just add two more blocks, like, like a two by three on the top of that. And just two towards the back like that and on the bottom we're going to add stone brick stairs so let me just steal that right now place that down in the front and the back corner it has a stone brick slab like this excellent so now um, let's add uh, this thing right here in the middle which is a uh, stone Place that down and <laughs> well, wrong block. And then we have to extend that all almost all the way to the front. So we're just gonna go like right around here. So just skip one block away from the edge and then it goes the rest of length back. And some people have been asking for a tutorial on the planes in the background. Maybe I'll do that in the future. All right, so now let's add a dispenser, I think, or a dropper, and that's going to be that thing in the front of the cockpit. So let's add that. Make sure you have like this, it looks like a donation box almost. And then we're going to add um, stone brick slabs on the sides of it, and also the front. We also want to take out uh, stone brick stairs upside down put down the side as well and then we need to add this section right here so that's going to be a uh, stone brick slab underneath that one and then stone brick stairs I'm not sure how long this is but this first one curves so let's do that the baby steps first and let's extend it um, how many blocks it's like three blocks past the last birch. So um, just go over here to the birch and then add three. One, two, three. 
and another one that sort of like curves around like that. Same thing on the other side. So go to the birch and then add three and add another one that curves around to the outside. And the very top, it's a little bit different. We're going to add three stairs, one, two, three, and then a fourth one that curves outwards. Do the same thing. Then we're going to take stone, add one, right behind the stairs. And then we're going to take out a gray concrete block. And place it down with a light gray wool carpet on the very top. So that's going to be one of the logos, I guess. And then we need to add three more stone. So just add that. And we're going to add stone on the bottom layer, it seems like so. And for this back section, it looks like uh, we added a stone brick slab. Let's add two more to the back like this. And then let's add the little part of the Gatling auto cannon. I don't know if you can call it a Gatling gun, but on the Wikipedia says it says auto cannon, so I'm just gonna say auto cannon. So we'll just place that wither skull and skull in the front of that, of the nose, and it let's add a slab of stone brick on the very top diagonally so it curves a bit up. Now for the cockpit we're gonna add uh, these three black concrete blocks. One, two, three. And on the top two of these nether brick slabs. Now behind that is three stone blocks, so one, two, three. And then there's gonna be four of these stone brick slabs, so one, two, three, four. And then on the top we're gonna take out stone brick stairs and then have it curve outwards like this. And behind it, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. And I think after that, it just changes sides. So uh, let's try to make it kind of face inwards. So add three. And that's going to connect to um, where the engines are. And I think that was Felix who just teleported to me. I get that a lot in these videos. I don't disable TP. It's just a little bit of a hassle, but I hope they just disappear uh, when they see I'm making a tutorial. Right, so next we're going to take stone brick slab, at three on the sides like that. And then we're going to take stone block, just add two in the back like this. And on the sides, we're going to add uh, stone brick stairs like so and for the back section yeah I just added some more stone brick stairs trying to make it kind of like a circular shape like that and the back side it's gonna be uh, nether brick stairs and we're trying to face it towards the back so try to make it curved out like this we don't want it exactly flat out, so try to make it work. Alright, cool. So now in the front, we're going to have uh, the air intakes, I think, or the fans. Uh, they're just going to be like these 2x2 two two boxes with the stone brick stairs. So let's just make the bottom half and then the top half. part's going to be a little bit tricky so if it's tricky for you I just recommend you can place these temporary blocks so you can place it faster and easier you don't want to take too much time and it's just for this last section alright cool now we have our uh, our engines so then we're going to go to the back and add three iron trap doors alongside here. 
and then three stone brick slabs underneath this middle section and then two stone brick stairs and then a third one that curves outwards like this or rather inwards same thing on the other side and we're to fill in this middle section with stone and that's going to be where we're going to have our wings that stick out so um, to make the wings it's going to be a bit complex so let's take stone brick yeah if you have just stone brick block this will be easy uh, so we're going to go over here to the stone skip two make a double one right here and let's add two more of them same thing on the other side and then stone brick stairs let's have two of them like this on the back and I'm gonna go like really slow just to be sure of everything and then it's gonna be three of these slabs one two three one two three and next we want to make it um, it appears to be three blocks longer so make this double stone brick slab three blocks longer like that let's extend the rest of it so it's like that same thing on the other side so one two and three and then this part right here kind of juts out so just skip two right here and then make a double stone brick slab and then one sticking out and then two below same thing on this side and a funny thing about this aircraft one side is actually uh, black so that's one of the features I saw like actually when I made this, this is not exactly what Volca made but uh, he had both of them black but in actually in real life I think there's just one of them one side is black the other side is just uh, the regular color so that's one little thing I fixed alright so next we're going to add in another stone brick stairs or slab right there on the back of that and then we're going to start off with the landing gear so let's take a birch fence and a black wool block place it on the back of this uh, stone brick slabs and let's add like uh, stone buttons on the sides then we're going to add the other wheel and then let's add birch fence gate opened up in the back of this we're also going to take stone bricks uh, stairs upside down and this is like the landing gear cover that sort of opens up cool and then what do we do after that alright so let's make uh, that single stone brick slabs across then we're going to start to make this hard point right over here so let's take uh, stone brick stairs and make it face towards the outside like this just add two of them and then a stone brick slab after it and then another person teleport to me so it's like a growing problem let me do the other side so that's our one of our first hard points and now let's go up a little bit and that's gonna be like about four blocks long I think so just go up a slab with the stone brick slab uh, you can make it three blocks long and four blocks I mean three blocks wide four blocks long just trying to make it three by four I guess same thing on the other side just go up a slab and make a three by four like so and then we're going to add a two by two at the edge of the wing so it looks like this and then we're going to add uh, two more hard points to each wing and that's going to be these cobblestone walls so it's going to be a little bit different from uh, the stone brick stairs so let's start from the edge just skip to 
then add these two cobblestone walls, then skip block, two more. Then let's repeat the same thing over here. Cool. So we got our hard points down. All right, so for our last steps, we're gonna add in one iron trap door right behind the cockpit. And another detail we forgot to add is the stone buttons on the sides. And that should be pretty much it on how to build the A-10 Warhog. Now this is built by Falk, not me. He's the one who designed this. So all credits to him, you can visit his Planet Minecraft page in the description below and if you guys like this video please hit that like button below and subscribe if you had already because i will be uploading more videos like this in the future and i will see you guys next time bye